Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Now, guys, I'll back with an excited video tutorial. So, in this video, so that's my regular work. What can I do? So, we have advertising company in Pakistan. We make um, signboards. If you don't know what is signboard, so uh, I will give you little uh, detail. That's my company, the creation. That's my website. So, so okay, I will show you what is signboard so what can I do for uh, living so why I make YouTube video because I love to share with people uh, things how it's works so how you can get it free because I know nobody not everybody uh, have ability to pay for these expensive software uh, like 3ds max and my 4d so that's why i upload uh these for free so okay let me show you where what happened to my website okay leave it so i just show you my little portfolio here so here what we can what is signboard so as you can see this is a signboard make by uh, make with a uh, metal acrylic plastic and LED light so it's glowing in night so that's uh, how it's work so what we can do uh, for Sanma 40 really help me in this kind of work so that's my work I'm also so our company in our company we do construction interior designing signboards and advertisement web development everything so so how we make a 3d look first we show a 3d signboard inside the uh, computer so how it's look uh, after it's make so uh, let me show you how we can do it so first we make a uh, design inside the coral draw or illustrator so i'm using right now coral draw you can also use illustrator so that's our vector object it's a true uh, 2d object so i want to make these text and these text 3d so what i can do so I just got it one and this one and duplicate it so I just make it like that so we can see more how it look like and we don't want to make 2d these uh, these things like uh, this uh, iron uh, garter and drawer so we just make a texture for our background uh, we use it as a texture first we create a png file so first i need to create a jamal so jamal steel so i create jpeg for my texture so it's really big size so i just decrease the size as you can see it's gonna stuck right now so control c just give me time so i don't want to merge this box here like that no just leave them I'll make it little smaller Uh, we use it just only for texture otherwise it's to make too high resolution file so maybe more than 40 MB so it's give me really headache if I do it. that's why I decrease the size so okay now we also decrease the size of these letters so Okay, we just export it uh, as AI file, Adobe Illustrator file. So, so we just change to a letter. So don't forget to change it to compatibility to Adobe Illustrator 8. So it's only uh, in Sanma 4D. I don't know what happened, but it's only work with uh, Adobe Illustrator 8 version. 
8 version so it's not working with cs6 or anything so that's how now we just uh, open the, that ai file so we just find it jamal where is jamal here we go letter so okay now as you can see we get our supplies here for it's ready for extrude so first we need to separate these uh, uh words and these what we say this box so let's see let's do it like that first we just duplicate it so now we just delete these boxes and now we just delete these letters like that we just do this so now we have separate letters and so as you can see in my design so these have different color that's why we need to also change uh, we need to also separate these two letters so how we can again copy and paste just delete from one of them this and move from one of them this so here we go now we are ready to go and we have everything separate so first we extrude our box here extrude now we extrude our letters like that so just take the box behind it so as you can see we just change the color so as you can see there is a little bugs here so how we can fix it so sometime uh, your supply uh, is duplicate uh, double sub you have double supply so that's why it's uh, do like uh, behave like this so sometime it's extruded in a different direction but it's extruded right direction right now so let's see where is the problem let's figure this out first just uh, make sure you have on only select visible elements so as you can see this is a double so we just delete maybe there's a triple not a double or maybe more than triple so that's give you no so why is this happen so let's see what we can do with it base supply base here sometime we need to change from here subdivide it so i don't know why is this all happen every time I try to use so as you can see everything is trouble so as you can see it's gonna fix right now
tree just uh, give them little cap on front side so how we can do this so we just like both of these extrude so just go in cap tab and just uh, click on fillet cap so as you can see it's give your uh, tax uh, cool bevel shape so but it's too much for me I just increase it to 2 or 4 maybe no sorry 2 yeah that's right too and we just add so we just add a little uh, we have more stuff for give, give them beautiful curve so that's looking great now create I'm using uh, I'm use red chip for now just increase the depth like that we are more depth okay now we uh, we use for this uh, red chip so that's fine we add Redshift Render, we open IPR, Redshift IPR window, so that's looking good, but we need to add a dome light, so that's looking great. We just increase this size of our signboard, so now create a Redshift material and apply on our background uh, so now we use that texture we create recently create inside the coral draw so like that so we just open Jamal, this one and just add it there diffuse color so we just make it matte we don't want any reflection just little bit with a roughness on it because um, uh, flex if you don't know what is flex printing flex is always matte uh, we use matte flex we don't use glossy because uh, glossy gonna fade inside the sunlight that's why we use matte light fix our what we say texture okay okay so it's automatically fit perfectly so that's what we want just a little bit up here okay that's looking great so it's so easy as you can see it's so easy we just change the flexion c1 we don't want it on our back so that's looking great as you can see it's really simple method how you can do it let's apply some more material on our text so create a red shift material so this is a blue we change it to a blue and change this name to a back and one more we need a white so okay let's change white to a white color we want reflection on it so that's why we just simply turn on the reflection so and change blue to a blue color so this one this kind of blue and we also want a reflection on it so that's not looking great right now because we don't have any HDR I image apply on our environment we don't get any reflection there is just a white reflection that's why it's not give you a uh, good result so what we can do right now is just we use HDR link for now for our dome light now apply any of them which look great okay let's choose this one so that's looking great a little bit but we need to change the direction so we just rotate our dome light a little bit for get more as you can see on our letter there is a reflection on it so
so this is so white that's why it's not gonna reflect so why is not reflecting so we just change it to little bit grayish color or like that So now it's looking great. We add a little bit more reflection on it, like a coating. Because as you know, plastic uh, acrylic is so reflective. So that's why glossy. So that's why we need to give it. So now we just turn off the background. Like that. We just add a sykes on it. this one but we don't want it reflecting so we don't want reflecting background and so we just create a new material new red shift material for our background so as you can see so so just decrease the reflection and add roughness in it we change the color to a little bit dark black uh, gray okay Just change the little bit shape because we want to see so in my case that's looking great I don't know what you think about this so this is how we show our client um, so how it look like but we just add more uh, curve on our text so we just simply go and we just change it to four or maybe five or maybe ten so we just add a constant range so it's gonna broken and we just add five and we just uh, now it's looking better so now let's render it let's apply uh, GI environment on it primary GI engine so we just enable primary GI engine with choose brute force and we don't we just change the samples like 16 to 250 and output we just change it to a 2,355 and now let's render it so I hope you like this video and so I don't know why I make this video I just want to share what can I uh, do so what kind of work I do motion graphics so basically I'm not doing this because other employees we have a, gra a designer for these all stuff I'm just showing you how can I do this before our company use uh, 3ds max only we don't know about so our companies really don't know about Sanma 4d so how we find Sanma 4d so uh, I'm out of country I'm living UA before so when I came so I love to play with this software 3ds max Maya first time I open after effect uh, before two years so I just find uh, their Sanma 4d light so I really don't know uh, anything about Sanma 4d before so when I open it uh, so it's uh, look really 
easy and great to me when I uh, try to render stuff with that so it's give me really fast rendering and really easy to use so that's why I choose this one so now uh, from two or three years maybe uh, our company using Maxon so Sanma 40 so it's really great it's allow you a lot of stuff like uh, animation modeling sculpting uh, anything so you create scu uh, sculpture so it's really great fun so that's our portfolio everything we make inside the Sanma 40 but for uh, something we make um, many things we make also we use 3ds max so we combine them and we so now now I try to make uh, convert my agency into a, a VFX studio so we are working on it so so as you can see now we are trying all that stuff so we have more than 10 uh, designer motion designer and VFX uh, uh, what we say I don't know how can I explain you in English so because I'm not a uh, I'm in live in Pakistan so our that's not our native language so that's how we work so that's uh, how we can what we can do we send my 40 so we make this kind of displays we make active but these all make in 3ds max that's my first work inside the 3ds max when i use first time before five or six years i use first time and i make this one so so now we are developing developing and we work so really hard for getting all this stuff so now we go in uh, TV commercials electric media so as you can see so that uh, first we create this design I will show you this design and in practical life we convert this design in this design so as you can see what we can do so so recently our exhibition which exhibition we just finished so I will show you a little bit of them so we have this one let me pick up this so uh, let me show you my little work so first we make this kind of design so we make this all design inside the Sanma 4D then we make convert it into a reality so let me show you that real pic we just uh, make before one month so where is that I just need to find it so okay I, maybe I have there file so yeah here we go so as you can see this and this so that's um, what we can do there is a little changing as you can see we change this design and also this one so I hope you understand don't forget to subscribe my channel so if you have any question or you want to know anything about Sanma 4D or you have any question or you want any kind of tutorial just comment below I try to make that tutorial and try to help you out so thanks for watching bye bye don't forget to subscribe my